All right, hello everyone. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome to today's one gameplay stream. That's right. There's only one gameplay stream today. So I figure I'll make that clear up front. DSP here, and uh, it is going to be Bloodborne, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Finally, this week I got to play a ton of Bloodborne, which is excellent because I got a big tear into the game. Uh, for those of you who have been following along, you know about all the stuff that's been going on. <clears throat> and uh, you see that uh, even though I did do some grinding earlier this week, that I am now at a point in the game where the grinding really doesn't matter. The, uh, the enemies and bosses that I'm fighting... At this point, I think from what people are telling me, and of course I don't know because I didn't spoil or anything, I didn't look anything up, but people have been telling me on Twitter that the two bosses that defeated me repeatedly yesterday uh, are basically the hardest things in the game. Well, the hardest, let's say this, the hardest fights in the game. There are dungeons, chalice dungeons coming up that apparently are incredibly challenging, but when it comes to just straight up fighting, <clears throat> I am in the two hardest fights of the game. So that being said, uh, kind of interesting that I finally come to this point. I am happy that I did because I'm having, I, even though it's challenging and frustrating, it's still, it, it's, it's fun because I, I am going to do my damnedest to overcome it. You know, yesterday I was a little frustrated not being able to take out these two enemies, but today I am, uh, as they say, redoubling my efforts, <clears throat> returning to Bulletborn and really trying to reapply myself. I'm going to try some different strategies, some different ideas that I had. I'll be honest, I thought about this last night. I was thinking about it all night. I was like, man, what could I do with the resources that I have? What could I realistically do uh, that would mix this up and change it up a little bit and possibly, may, uh, you know, bring me to victory? So I'm thinking about it, and I'm hoping that uh, through sheer determination, through <clears throat> adaptation... And through learning that I can uh, beat these these two uh, enemies today. In addition, I would like to try to progress a little bit further into the story. Uh, and keep going a little bit. Uh, from what I'm going to understand, I am getting very close to the end of the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, from what I'm to understand, uh, once I beat uh, one or two uh, more... One or two more uh, areas of the game, supposedly, were near basically the mainstream ending of the game. Now, there is some more stuff to do. I do need to go to the optional Chalice Dungeons and do some stuff there, because to get the best ending of the game, I, I, I believe I have to get two more items. <clears throat> and uh, I need to... Uh, use those items before I fight the final boss in order to unlock the true ending of the game. So I'm definitely going for that. And I'll be honest with you guys, I would love <clears throat> to try to tackle the Chalice Dungeons. And I'm not just talking, oh, one of them, I'm talking all of them. I would like to really try and apply myself and see if I could beat them. I would, Because the thing is, with this game, uh, apparently once you beat it, you cannot go back. So if I beat it without checking out all the Chalice Dungeon content, I'm basically... Blocked from doing it until uh, if I were to play through the game again. Which obviously, you know, is not going to be a viable thing for me. So I would like to definitely check that out while I have the chance. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Hopefully beating the two things that, that really whooped my ass yesterday. Continuing on with the story. Uh, and then possibly. Uh, hopefully. Uh, move on. Get the items I need for the best ending. Check out the Chalice Dungeons. There's still a lot to go. There's still a lot of content left in the game. And I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm looking forward to possibly I'm saying about the next week I'm thinking uh, that I'll be spending with this game. On and off. Keep in mind, it's not going to be every single day that all day I'll be playing Bloodborne. But uh, I am excited for it. And hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens. Now the goal, I'll be honest with you guys, the goal is to basically complete Bloodborne and the playthrough of Bloodborne uh, by the time Mortal Kombat 10 comes out. So we're talking a little under two weeks. Uh, I would like to have completed Bloodborne by then. 
So that way, when Mortal Kombat 10 comes out, I can solely focus on that and uh, Final Fantasy uh, Type 0 HD. Those are the two things I would like to focus, kind of, for the second half of the month. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that things work out well. And, uh, you know, everything with my schedule and everything that I've been playing. Uh, you know, it, it works out and, uh, and it goes well. So I want to thank you guys for being here on stream. Uh, again, I, I'm going to say this. I want to thank you guys for checking it out because, unfortunately, there's just this small-minded group of people who hear that Phil has grinded. They see me fight one low-level boss after a grinding session and basically tank my way through it. And they say, oh, that's the whole playthrough. Well, I'm not watching. And that's it. That's all they want to hear. You know, they want to believe that there's only one natural right way to play a game or that... The only one entertaining moment that could possibly be in the game is if I was underleveled trying to fight bosses and dying repeatedly. You know, and not to say that there isn't some kind of enjoyment to see someone who's fighting a tough boss lose and die and rage a little bit. But that's not the point of watching a playthrough entirely. You know what I mean? And the fact that there's people that there's the only reason why they want to watch my content is to see me fail means that uh, maybe they're not watching for the right reasons. You know, I want to do an entertaining playthrough that shows you all the content of the game, that eventually does succeed at everything. And let's face it, at this point, I've reached a point in the game that my grinding is insignificant. The enemies have scaled because of my high insight. They're incredibly powerful. They're kill almost one to two hit killing me. Just the normal enemies, right? The bosses now that I'm fighting are incredibly good, powerful. So, the, you know, the, uh, the grinding didn't matter, quite honestly. Really, if you really think about it, the only thing that happened is that because of the grinding, I was able to get a bunch of inventory items. I was able to get, uh, uh, you know, m more leveled weapons because of the grinding. Really, when you think about it, ultimately, that's all the grinding has really affected. Uh, and so I'm, th I'm glad that you guys are back here again. I've been saying this all week, regardless of the fact that there are this group of people who are just so negative about everything. And no matter how I played the game, the bottom line is it would have been the wrong way for them. Because if I hadn't grinded, and I didn't get through those earlier parts of the game quickly, they would have said, Phil sucks at the game, and he's taking too long, and his playthrough's going to last a month, and no one's going to care because he sucks at the game. And he, he doesn't edit his video, he doesn't edit out his fails. I didn't want to see him die to this certain boss 14 times, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, that's the problem. No matter what, people are going to complain. That's the bottom line. They're going to say, I did it wrong no matter how I did it. So I did it a different way. I grinded to get past the earlier parts of the game to get to this better part of the game. And now, of course, oh, Phil did it wrong. So you know what? <clears throat> like I said, I've been saying this all week. My attitude, I play the game the way I want. I'm having fun with it. And the bottom line is, uh, those people who are here watching every day have been enjoying it. Really, the people who have been here watching the content every single day have been enjoying the playthrough. They're like, wow, I don't understand. Why are people being so negative? Did they not watch... When Phil is taking on these optional areas that are really tough, do they not see that the enemies now are almost insta-killing him? Do they not see these incredibly tough bosses that are insta-killing him? And the answer is, no, they're not, because they're quitters. They saw an early part, an early boss get defeated quickly, and they threw up their hands, meh, and they left. So, you know what it is? I don't, I, it, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing we can do about that. We're just going to, we're going to be positive. We're going to walk forward and enjoy this game for the next week to week and a half, as long as it takes for me to get through it. And, uh, you know, we're going to have fun with it and let them be, have, be their negative selves. And whether they watch another playthrough or not, they want to watch some guy scream and yell and flip out and, you know, die 400 times to one boss. Or, no, it's the truth is... They want some kind of insanely highly edited playthrough where, oh, here's the highlights of my boss fight against this boss. Like, yeah, but where's the real gameplay? Oh, well, you edited it all out. I mean, <laughs> that's what they want now. This is what YouTube has become, sadly. Uh, people don't want genuine, genuine gameplay, genuine gamers. They want highly polished, highly edited, you know, scripted comedy. This is what they want. This is, unfortunately, what YouTube has become. YouTube, when it started was the place for people who don't have high budgets, don't have high production value, don't have producers, right? It was a place for people with just raw talent to display that talent with passion and artistic quality and, and a love for something. This is where they prospered. Now YouTube has become, throw a ton of money at it, overproduced, overly edited crap. Just like everything else you see on TV and everywhere else. 
And it's a pain in the ass. I hate that. I hate that. I really do. I wish that, uh, you know, we were back when YouTube well, was first coming. You know, people would do a playthrough. And you, you wouldn't say, well, I don't understand. He died five times. He's still, he's still going to show that? Yeah. Because that's playing the game. There's a fucking fast forward. If you're bored, you can fast forward to go to the next part. But people are so... They want instant gratification now, right? Instantly teleport me to the one memorable moment of this five minutes of gameplay. Because God forbid I spend five minutes watching what actually happened. Rather than you show me this one moment out of context that may give me a chuckle. I just don't get it. I mean, that, I mean again. That's, uh, that's my take being someone who's been around the block. I like genuine articles. I like people. I like people who do something for the love of it. People who play a sport. Sure, maybe they make a million, multi-million dollar paycheck, but they actually like the sport. You know, not that they're playing just for the sake of getting paid. Uh, that was one of the major things that I actually said I hated about Street Fighter Four. Because Street Fighter Four, my God, seriously, that game, if anything, revealed the play to become e famous fad that was going on with YouTube. Street Fighter 4 was a unique combination of people who had been playing Street Fighter for a long ass time, all right, and really loved the fact that Street Fighter was finally hitting the mainstream, and they played the hell out of it, and they succeeded, and then combine that with a whole group of people who literally just played the game because they wanted to become, like, e-famous, and make a name for themselves, and make money doing it, and it was like, are you serious? And it just killed me. It really did. That whole thing that happened with Street Fighter, of course, then subsequently, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and every fighting game after was kind of like that, where it was like, I gotta get e-famous, there's gonna be all this drama and shit in the community, instead of just caring about the love of the game. And that kills me. You know? I'm not here playing this game because I want to make money on an entertaining playthrough. If that were the case, I literally would not have tried to learn the game at all. I would have repeatedly flubbed around, acted like a clown on camera. Uh, I would have, you know, scripted stuff for the game. I would probably stop playing the game, I'll be honest. I'd do a nice music video of all deaths of Bloodborne to a parody song from fucking Frozen or something. You know, highly edited. Would you like to play some Bloodborne and get eaten by the demons? And I'd do all this epic stuff and it would get a million views on YouTube. And I don't care, because that's not what I'm here for. You know, I'm here to play the game and have fun. That's, that's the way to, to approach it, to be genuine. You know, to be positive and not to be, I'm here for a paycheck and I'm here to, to make some kind of a product. No, I'm here to play the game primarily. That's why I do this daily. And I hope that you guys understand that. You know what I mean? That's why I'm here. To play the game genuinely, to enjoy the game genuinely, and for you guys to share in that experience. And the fact that you're still here. Let me tell you guys something. The fact that you guys and gals are still here in 20, April of 2015. After all the shit that I've been through, especially after the past few years, all the ridiculous shit that I go through daily, the fact that I've, I get, I mean, literally, you guys have no clue the shit that happens behind the scenes, the amount of trolling, the amount of harassment uh, that happens simply because I play video games on the internet and people don't like the way that I do it or the way that I'm outspoken about it. You know what I mean? It's just out of control. You have no idea. The amount of shit right now, I'm still I'm getting alerts and stuff about trolling and shit in my real life that's trying to affect me, you know. But the fact that you guys are still here in April of 2015 and you're here daily watching is awesome. You know, you look, you saw through all the bullshit, you realized what was important and what wasn't. And you said, here's a guy who genuinely loves being a gamer and wants to keep doing it no matter what he has to go through to do it. You know, I hope you realize, you know, all the things that, that I've been through, I could have easily, I could have sold out if many times I had offers. Phil, would you like to get a management and then we'll get you the games ahead of time. You'll get everything for free. You'll get into these behind the scenes events. Oh, all you need to do is sign on the dotted line here. You know, all you need to do is basically become part of our group and, you know, promote this game and do this. And I said, no, I stayed independent. I did it on purpose. 
so that I had the ability to do what I wanted to do and be the genuine article, you know? But a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people don't realize the fact that this is uh, what you have now all over the internet.